dear all my full-time employees and my people with, you know, children, my dads who are 16 beers deep, but the confidence on the dance floor to go out and try and complete the mastery camo challenges. Now, when I was doing the Cold War mastery, I had a little bit more, I had a little bit more easy, I guess you could say. It was during COVID, so I had a lot less hours. So I was really able to grind that, and I was able to finish it just before Season 1 dropped for Cold War. But, as you can see, um, I clearly don't have Diamond on anything yet. However, I have all the ARs. No, that's not true. I have all the SMGs. I have missing one AR, the Goblin, which is a very AO name. Um, and then I just have to do the challenges for the SMGs. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get every weapon gold... And then that's when I'll start to sneak out those challenges. Um, this is my first DMR or battle rifle, whatever. Uh, I don't know why I said DMR. I still have the all the other three are about like level 20, about halfway on the headshots. You know, and I like the shotgun. I don't remember the name. The SG12, I think it is. It's really good pack punch, but man, is it terrible before it's pack punch. It is so fucking butt. Like. Only two shotguns. I'm not hyped to do them. The pistols, I just, I'm not hyped to do the pistols at all. The launchers are weird because they don't have attachments. At least the one I use, the Sigma. No attachments is really weird because I think that's a first. I feel like every other Call of Duty has had some type of attachment you can put on a launcher, whether it's fast lock, extended mags for zombies. I mean, I thought for a second we were going to have almost like a, um, not L4 Siege. But the uh, Helion Salvo where you're like, oh yeah, this is the best gun. And I would have rocked with that. The launchers weren't even bad in Cold War. And, you know, the fact they're just like 14 rockets, it's pretty bad. Um, and I also see people on fucking Twitter that have all the camo. Like, they have Nebulia, like, or Nebula, whatever. Nebulia sounds like a girl who's kind of bad. But they have Nebula already. That's insane to me. Like, how do people have the time to do this? And I'm already prestige. I'm prestige three or four. I already forgot. I think it's. I know it's a big difference, but. And then you know the other night, usually like my schedule right is I'll work Monday right, get home maybe maybe do a couple round twenty not round twenty round thirty games. That's about an hour, and then that's it's Betty by to me and me and my girl watch Naruto. She's actually just starting to watch Naruto. Um, if you haven't watched Naruto, one of the my it's honestly my favorite anime personally. It's up there with uh, a lot of other shows. It's not the best one, I guess you would say, in terms of being perfect, but I don't know. But so like we spend time with her. Um, she honestly is making me weaker because I can't spend time getting the camos. But anywho, we're I'm also trying to get more YouTube going, so that's why we're here. I knew I took a big break uh, before this game dropped, so I'm just here. I want to be able to create content and uh, get this. These challenges done, but also if I'm not doing that, say my boys like yeah get on it, so I don't do the zombie challenges. We go and play multiplayer, and I think it's crazier that we'll go into a multiplayer match, and these dudes will sit there and they'll have fucking dark matter, like that's insane to me. Like how do people have the time? And obviously dark matter is harder to get than the zombie camo, but like I don't know, man. I, maybe it's maybe it's the time. It takes less time. Because you only have to get 100 headshots compared to 2,000. And then the challenges where you usually have to get to round 30 to get some of those elite zombie kills. But I heard that on Liberty Falls, you can sit there. And you can um, spam the uh, LG step and kill the manglers. Actually, I think, yeah, the manglers count. Yeah, manglers count. And you kill the manglers. Or maybe the elite zombie only counts as... No, I think the mangler doesn't count. It only counts as a boss, I think. The elites are the um, abominations and the... Uh, the forearm dudes I can't even think of that remind me of the guys from uh uh the forest holy fuck remember when the forest 2 dropped oh my god the game was so fun in the beginning and then I forgot that shit was a thing my god also I think I'm gonna do a poll I want to know what you guys pick for your ammo mods I think it mainly depends on like what map you play on because uh if you obviously play on actually I don't know because I think both elite zombies their weakness is dead wire no I'm pretty sure Abominations and the uh, Forest Dudes. Or, you know, let's just call the Forest Dude Diddy. He's got all those arms. Fuck it, we're just going to call him Diddy now. I'm pretty sure the Abomination and Diddy are, are, uh, have the weakness to Deadwire, where Manglers are Blast Furnace. But I don't usually don't struggle with them that much. Man, hold on. Let me enter this. What? Dude, come on. 
I was in the fucking dead. I was in the, uh, I was invincible. All right, I don't know. You can obviously take damage in this, but bro shot me after I entered that. I swear. That shit is the lamest thing I've ever seen. But this is like a prime example, right? So the AEK just destroys this dude with dead wire. Like, the fact that it's not even triple packed, it does do some mean damage. If you just use both your ether shrouds, it'll take care of him pretty quickly. However, if you obviously have him in front of you, it's easier to kill him, like, a lot faster because you'll see his heads. Pause. But, yeah, because that's what Diddy's all about, man. He's got all types of different heads, but is on a good mood, bad mood. He's angry. He goes crazy head when he's angry. Pause. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm not sorry. Anywho, um, I think I'm also going to do a weapon tier list based on the classes because... Most of the ARs weren't bad. There were a couple ARs that I did not have fun playing with, mainly the Goblin. I feel like an AR that's single fire only should be a more of a... I don't know, I feel like it should hit harder, but it kind of just falls off very crazy. And I feel like automatic weapons, and you know, even burst weapons, the AEK, as you can see, this shit's putting in work. This shit's good as hell. And um, it's gonna probably be the main meta weapon for Warzone. And I don't even have rapid fire on this. If I had rapid fire on this, which, once again, I'm going to bring up the weapon levels again. Like, guys, I, I brought it up in the last video I made, and I'm bringing it up again. I'm sick of having the weapon fucking gold. This gun's not gold yet, but it's going to be gold. But I've had other guns where I got them gold, and I don't even have the weapon level max. And I'm going to get this gold probably next game because I don't have the headshots yet. I'm probably going to get the headshots this game, and then I'm going to do the challenges next game. But I won't have rapid fire on it. And um, I know I won't because it's only level 34, I believe. Rapid fire is level 42. And the max level is 48. So even if I got this gun golden, I just got rapid fire, right? I'm not using this gun again for a while. Like, I might use it once I get, you know, the nebula camo and I'm fucking around. But, I oh my god. Also... Um, nobody mentioned it in the comments, but I was curious to see if somebody would bring up that I'm not using the Rampage Inducer. I just find that it's better for the beginning rounds, but eventually it just gets too... It's too much work for me, if that makes sense, to hoard the zombies. I feel like I'm rushing too much and I'm losing out on potential headshots, where as you can see here, I can kind of take my time and make sure I'm getting the headshots. Which I feel like I'm noticing I get more... I don't know... Progress? Like, if you're just doing the challenges, then absolutely, use Rampage Juice. If you have to just get 300 kills with, like, Blast Furnace, Cryo Freeze, Brain Rot, dude, turn on uh, Rampage and go for it. I didn't mention that in the last video, but that's my thing on it. But I still just, I start off with that shot, um, especially for the headshots. I pack it twice, I get it to purple, and I might, I usually I've started getting the Dead Wire mod earlier, right after I get it purple. And then I buy all my perks. Not all my perks, that's not true. I usually get like Stamina, Quick Revive, Speed Cola, and then I'll buy like PhD and Elemental Pop last. I don't even buy Melee Macchiato. I don't find that I use it ever. Um, but maybe eventually it'll be like meta for like later, because we're getting new augments. I'm very curious to see what the 18 new augments are gonna be. I wonder what perks are gonna be um, buffed massively. And the new perk we're gonna get, obviously, I don't think the new map drops until the middle of December, correct? I'm pretty sure that's when we're getting that. Because the new map does not drop tomorrow, even though DLC, or not DLC 1. Uh, season 1 is tomorrow with Warzone. And uh, we'll, they said in the notes that we'd be going medieval in mid-December. So obviously the map will release in the middle of the month. Or, not, well, I assume middle of the month too, somewhere around December. Middle of December, but um, I'm very curious to see like what perk we're gonna get i don't think they're dropping the perk tomorrow i think they're probably gonna wait for the new map i'd be surprised if they drop it tomorrow i'd also be surprised if we got all three new gobble gums no you know what actually second thought i think the three new gobble gums are gonna be in the battle pass for you to visually see and to earn it and fluent you to buy it as well as we're getting gobble gum packs for you to purchase which is fine as long as the progression of the gobble gums don't change because i feel like that'd be like so scummy like i wouldn't fuck with that but they're going to make their money. I mean, BO3 had it. Or at least, I guess, I don't know if they're just doing, like, you're buying rare packs, uh, legendary packs, epic packs, and then your um, ultra packs. I don't know how that's working. I'd have to look at it. But 
I don't think I'm gonna be spending money on it. Maybe I'll do like a, a special 2,000 subscriber like little opening. Maybe we'll do that, but nothing plain simple. Like I'm not gonna do that just for it, but just be prepared. We are going to see insane amounts of pack openings. Just know that's happening. I just got invited to the Diddy party, so let's uh, let's boogie out of here. Now, honestly, I feel like there need to be more rewards for leaving. And number two, unless I just have all these hours and I have not seen it, I would love to actually see what bonus I get for extracting. Like, break it down for me. Like, actually tell me, like, okay, you know, you extracted round 30, or you survived round, I don't they do that shit where you survive 30 rounds because you left at round 31, but you extracted, here's what you get. And I, cause like, I don't know. I don't, is there a way if, please tell me in the comments if there's a way. I have never seen that. But I also love to save a chopper gunner just to make this shit go by way faster. And then we'll dip on out of this bitch. A little trick too is if you play on controller and you just uh, use the aim assist to your advantage, just like take your finger off the, off the uh, ADS and then keep tapping it. Like it'll just lock onto them for you. You might have to move it a little bit. As you can see, some of them get kind of get like almost like hiding away. But you can usually just clear out the the exfil pretty quickly with this. You might get a couple of strays. Like, I don't know how I'm not hitting that. Usually it's the bugs that are a pain in the ass. The bugs are, like, hiding. But there's one left. Just gotta find the brother. There he is. Oh, there's two. Okay. Alright, let's leave. Bye, brothers. Also, wait, what? Wait, the chopper left me. Wait, wait, what is what is happening? Uh, what? That is get like an alternate, and I can move. Oh, I can I can aim and shoot. I can't move. I can turn though. I can't. I, I mean. I can melee. Um, I can't use any. I can't use ether shroud. Um, what? I can't believe they just pulled me out of the chopper. This is not the canon ending. Um, I guess yeah. I mean, I guess we gotta leave, right? My god, blood just fell over.